Howdy folks and welcome to Brain Rotters. In the midst of Loki's massive marketing blitz, I thought it'd be a great idea if I shared some of my predictions and theories for the show, including cameos, post credit scenes, and more, so stick around. The hooded figure for the show, I think we're all predicting that is Lady Loki from the set photos, and in that light, there very well may be more Loki variants throughout the show, in which we could theorize either Kid Loki or Loki who is worthy to wield Thor's hammer and rule Asgard. That would explain Loki being needed by the TVA to fight his variants almost like fighting fire with fire. In the featurette, we can see a snapshot of Owen Wilson wearing a cowboy hat with blonde hair and no doubt playing a variant of his Mobius character. So because of the Yeehaw outfit, we'll get a point where Loki heads into the Wild West for whatever reason. And while we're jumping through time, we know Loki ends up as D.B. Cooper and with Kevin Feige saying Loki will be jumping around time in this show and influencing human history, we could see Loki present at the first moon landing. He could be in World War II, which would prompt the perfect Steve Steve Rogers cameo. There are so many points in time that we could see Loki poke his head in. I already made a video on this one, but I think it's likely that we'll see Loki potentially die at the end of the series in Doctor Who fashion. Like every season, we deal with a new variant of Loki. The reasoning behind that comes from the need for Loki to snuff out those variants, and since he himself is a variant in the time stream, which causes the time stream to collapse in the first place, the only way to restore balance is for him to die at the end of the series. Just to reinforce this with Loki's arc always being about himself and his ego, his selfishness. The last time they redeemed his character, he ended up dying to save his brother. History has a way of repeating itself is all I'm saying. Hey, you made it this far. You might as well subscribe if you're new as well as hitting that bell for notifications so you don't miss another video just like this one. As for the cameos, we already know by Loki's comment when he was D.B. Cooper, he asked Heimdall and his brother Thor if they were ready with the Bifrost. Personally, I think this is the ruler of Asgard Loki, which means the version of Thor that we will see is a Thor who serves Loki and a Heimdall who serves Loki as well. This could come with green costume changes for Thor and Heimdall respectively. I fully expect the timekeepers to show up in a more live action version of themselves rather than the gray rock statues we've seen. We can expect you know, Miss Minutes to be a timekeeper on account of her being a clock which you know, clocks keep time. This cat, this cat right here, it's got to be a flirkin and you can't tell me different. I fully expect the post credit scenes to go a number of different ways. One, Marvel really likes to use these as their stepping stone to hype up the next MCU installment, being that Thor 4 Love and Thunder just wrapped filming. I think we can expect a Loki tease for that film because honestly, what's a Thor movie without a little Loki mischief? Two, we get a season two tease. If my Doctor Who theory lines up, we could be looking at another Loki spilling out from the time stream or if that a number of different cameos spilling out from the time stream like whatever version of Thor we work with throughout the series meaning the time stream has yet again to collapse and to create a number of different branches in time that they still need Loki's help with and season two would answer the question as to who broke it this time lastly in a lot of ways the show resembles Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness with all these new branches in time jumping throughout these branches in time creating all these new branches in reality so we could get a Doctor Strange cameo in there at some point to provide guidance or even a Doctor Strange 2 trailer honestly. So folks what do you think of this video? What do you think of these predictions and theories? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. I want to thank you all so much for watching and the massive amounts of support that we've been getting recently. Can't thank you enough. Thank you again. Have a great rest of your day.